Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Sesso. Now, have any of you guys actually wondered what it would be like to design if like you can't really see color or maybe you're colorblind? Or for me, I actually turned my entire colors down on my monitor so I actually cannot see color whatsoever. I gave myself a brief of like the Rainbow Royale that comes to Fortnite every once in a while, comes on like September this year, something like that. I wanted to create a poster for it. So what's a better plan then to, to, to do that and have all these colors to deal with. I don't know what's gonna happen. However, there's a universe where it's probably not gonna be great, obviously. And two, beats me. However, let's just see how challenging this could be. And uh, yeah, good. if you try this, don't. But if you try it, good luck. I wanna see what you guys do. <laughs> Alright, so if this wasn't hard already, I didn't even, I didn't even know what I'm going to do, however, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my screen, what it looks like right now, so in 3, 2, 1, my saturation is now at 0, so this is it, okay, let's go back to my assets, so I, I at least have an inkling to what the colors are, right, so I'm not like an idiot, right, this has to be blue, this is green, this guy's like blue, this camo pants is green, right, so I can, I can make inkling the battle bus is blue and yellow and something like that right so the issue comes later i think first we should start working on the composition solely and then we'll add to make sure we make it feel rainbow-esque right so we can start off by dragging this in for ourselves right this nice little sort of idea of a sort of platform it's gonna be like my back platform for this i'm gonna also throw in the rainbow royale logo which i pretty much just like stole for a quick second with image trace so i know this is definitely black and white so i gotta fix that as well the information i can just put in as well is like september 11th or something like that it comes out i'm gonna take this skew kind of just move it like so of course we're gonna throw in the battle bus probably behind it right okay behind it and then we'll take a nice little plane here i saw it right here now cutting things out would be easy right but right right I, it's you see black and white too so if i were to press q for quick blast mode i have no idea what is cut in or out so i have to press q again and see that there's a little marquee tool selection right here and then i gotta go back into it and then fix it oh god hold on like what's happening now it should be gone where my layers go Yo, I'm pressing every button in the book. Oh, I pressed tap. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use like so. Okay, so now we got our plane in here now too. So this is torture. If you couldn't realize, this is not gonna be anywhere near fun. However, maybe the, the, the torture, you can live it through me and have fun and laugh at me. So let's go ahead and give ourselves a nice little platform. So I did this with an earlier poster I just did like a few days ago. So I'm definitely ripping the composition at least a little bit. Something like that, that should work. Okay, I'm gonna drag in some of these character renders in here too. And let's go ahead and just add in another just random guy flying down as well, just from some more composition stuff. I obviously gotta cut this thing out. Now imagine using a gray to cut out a gray and all you see is gray. Yeah, it sucks by the way. I don't know if you realize that. So I'm gonna say, this looks pretty okay. What's gonna happen though that I can immediately notice is that we need to change the color corrections of these things. They're too dark. So if it's too dark, like it's too like black toned or like it's too, it, the contrast is too much. So I'm gonna put this uh, the shadows up to kind of relieve that. A little bit of shadow, a little bit of uh, texture as well. Maybe a little bit of whites, who really knows? And I'm gonna say, composition. Wait, 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 wait. I saw these boxes. Okay, and I was wondering if this could work as like a foreground element. Now, I'm not too sure the idea that I have that it needs foreground elements. Will it work? Uh, pff, who knows? What if this box said play now? You know, like, you know, no? Okay, so let's just say the box stays for, okay, the box goes away. I'm done with the box, okay. I don't know, I don't play it, but I definitely know the Rainbow Royale theme is supposed to be for like LGBTQ+, um, so like just that idea. So I'm gonna make sure that I add in colors everywhere. That's the, that's, that's the point, and that's why I chose this idea. Let's do a test. Okay, first one, we're gonna make the word rainbow colorful and rainbow. So I'm gonna go over here to these colors. Now, I believe it goes like, uh, okay, Jay, you can share. How about we share only co the color picker and see if I get it right. Okay, it goes red, pink, orangey? <laughs> Wait, red, orange, pink, blue, green, yellow? Yo, am I trolling? RGB, so like there's blue down here, right? And there's green right here, yellow, red, 
This is definitely like a pink tone. I know that for a fact. I use this color all the time. It's a little bit more up here for sure, but I think this color right here should feel fine. Let's press OK. Give ourselves this R, that same sort of tone right here, and we'll give every single one of these letters their own different color. So this right here should be like teal, green. It has to be. I don't, I don't remember. That's not good. <laughs> so this is gonna be rainbow. This is black still. This is also black. So I'm gonna go ahead and say, will that be okay if it's still black, if they're both black here? Is this black? No, this is gray right now. Why is it gray? We can make this a little bit more like darker. We'll just kind of match that whatever gray that is. And I'll just make it a little more smaller maybe. No, we'll make it small. Oh, we'll take the colors of the B and we'll take the colors of this yellow. Which one's yellow? Somewhere around here is yellow for sure, right? Yep, we'll go with it. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a nice sort of little this, okay? We'll give ourselves this sort of idea. Big wing, because it just came from flying all the way over there, right? We'll do something like this. Go ahead and just click uh, Alt Enter or Control Enter for this on a new layer. Take our brush, nice little soft brush. Give ourselves a pinkish tone to a another tone to another tone to another tone, to another tone. You guys get the point, right? So that should be rainbow. Or do I do it this way? Let's do it the other way, actually. There's a rainbow. Now that's dope. We're gonna, <laughs> we're pretending. I have no idea. I'm thinking that there needs to be at least clouds or something like that, so that way, right now this is all still white on the top. We got one cloud, then we're gonna put another cloud over here. We'll change it a little bit. We'll just warp it up a little bit. Maybe we'll put this above everything so it feels a little bit more just kind of like, you know, cloudy. Let's go ahead and say though, these clouds are gonna have a gradient map. Now the gradient map, yeah, you guys know what I'm gonna say. I have no idea, but I know it should be black on one side for the shadows, right? And then the color on the other side. So I'm gonna say, let's take the color of the B. Ooh, ooh, that's dark. So if that's dark, that's not what I want. I, like, I want like pretty, pretty clouds. What if I tried color filter? Ooh, or photo filter it's called, right? Photo filter. Now the photo filter always starts with orange right so let's just say give it a little bit of an orange hue let's put a nice little blue cloud right it has to be blue over here somehow let's put a, like a layer below everything let's give ourselves some color in the background too so i'm gonna start off with the b color as well make sure it's a little more to the left so it's like more like white balanced and kind of like it's more feels like a uh, more just feels like a like a different color white put some color in take the r whatever color this is move it to over here Damn, this is a dark color i don't know what the heck this is We'll say like right there. So that should look pretty cool. Let's erase the bottom though, because I don't want the colors in the bottom though. I think now what's gonna happen here is I wanna put some sort of rainbow on the bottom. So what I'm thinking is, what if I make a new layer and give myself some sort of like platform like this maybe? I'm gonna give it a little perspective as well. That way I can kind of fan this really appropriately. This, maybe this over here should be rainbow too, like the middle of it. Okay, so now I got a pen tool out. I'll make a new layer here. I think it's above it. Okay, it is. And I'm gonna take the colors from this rainbow again randomly and just kind of like go over it a little bit. Maybe just give it like three colors, is that fine? So now it looks pretty good. This right here, let's give it a little bit of like a like a ro ro rotating thing. So I'm gonna take a circle, put it above it like that. We're gonna copy this layer, okay? We're gonna go over to filter, blur, radial blur. I just thought about this, maybe it works. Spin on draft quality at 20. Nope. <laughs> okay, I thought I was on to something. Okay, I just gotta do it a little bit less. Okay, radio blur on best this time on two amount. Boom. Eh, you know, I can just erase it, right? That should feel pretty good. Yo, it would be sick though if I put some colors on this though. Let's do some gradient map here. I will do this color for this. Oh, that is a dark color. Maybe it's a good color. Now it should be like a colored radio blur. Kind of sick. Take the same eraser. Boom, now I got some color in there too. I'm really hoping the clouds are good too. We didn't mess with this down here. I have no idea what the color of this is. I think it's like a brownish, like orangey tone. Maybe I keep the orange tone. Let's go to color mixer here for sure. I'm praying this is not a bad idea. I'm hoping this is not a bad idea. Let's go and do like a like an orangey, orangey tone here. Put up the luminance of these a little bit. That should feel fine. Let's go ahead and say to ourselves then, we'll take some of these panels here and basically I'm just gonna fill up a few of these with just a few different gradient maps. I wanna say that I'm done. However, oh, for sure I gotta do something like this. Hold on. I know for a fact there's some areas that I can click on to make them kind of more brighter. So whatever this color is, I'll just take it for a second. It's like a beats me, make it more darker. Then I'll kind of click on it. 
with like a nice opacity brush, lower or put on linear dodge add, lower the lightness down a little bit. Maybe there's a world where I wanna do the same thing on the back here. I don't know if this one exactly needs anything. Let's just do it behind here first. So that way there's definitely some sort of light happening back here. Cause obviously it's really, really like bright. So I'm gonna say that looks pretty good. I have no idea actually. I'm gonna add some little subtext in cause my brain is telling me I need something else. And you know what we'll do? We'll even give it like that Fortnite like back plate where it's just like these random cuts ins. Make sure we make it yellow, which has to be this color here. It's like the only vibrant bright color like that that should work out like that. This here should be black. No, it should be white. It should be white. Okay, so let's just go ahead and combine everything, put it on our smart object, go to camera off filtering, just give ourselves that little bit of something that I would do regularly, a little bit of texture, a little bit of saturation, not too much. Oh my God, look how much that changes off of like a little bit. That is not a good sign. I don't know. I'm gonna now turn back on my colors, turn on my colors again, and uh, let's see what we end up creating. So I'm gonna go into my settings for myself, color mode, and switch it to Adobe RGB. Okay, uh... <laughs> so here's this. The, 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 the obvious thing here is that, also I didn't really, I didn't recognize this was gray and this was black. Did I forget? I probably forgot. Is this black? No, this is gray right now. The balloon is blue, orange, and purple. I'm pretty sure I selected like 17 colors, but apparently I didn't. Oh no. The A and the O are the same color. That's probably a reason. Uh, whatever's happened with this plane trail, it kind of, it completely lost what I thought. I probably should have went with the other direction, but it is what it is. Um, the, the orange and blue are like, eh, you know, whatever's happening down here though. Can we talk about that? I basically used like four different tones of greenish tones and it's not the play. If this was actually what I would think in my head, it would look pretty freaking dope in my opinion. This is how important color is. And let's just go ahead and just, I'm gonna give it my little quick kind of redesign and kind of redesign this design real quick. Speed up for you guys so you can see what I would actually do if I had a little bit more control and seeing my colors. Also, I thought I made these different colors. This is probably black and white, bro. <laughs> Dang it. So this is kind of how I would have had done it if it was to be like, I'm redesigning my design that I just did. So realistically, if we're if we're talking color difference, Jay, if you can put a side by side, there is a very clear, obvious difference. And I think the idea that I had in the background just did not work. And honestly, if we compare the balloons for a second, obviously the one on the left looks way, way better. So I don't know about you, but I failed responsibly because honestly it's just color, but you can see now how important color theory is when the world of contrast, all that good stuff. So, you know, if it's something where you can see your tones and your ideas, like my colors in your artwork right now today, don't be too afraid to actually explore colors beyond the same sort of color family. So going back to here, you kind of see all of these colors in the bottom are almost all the, these green tones. However, when you actually exaggerate them or really purposely put them there, then that's when you get an attitude of like, okay, I purposely put this here. How do I put this theme throughout the entire design, etc. So this is what I got. Hopefully you guys enjoyed some of this. I don't know what the, the idea, it was just a fun little idea. If you guys have any other fun little ideas you want me to do in the comments below or comment them down below if you have any fun ideas that I can just take and do and all that good stuff. But I have some really dope videos coming, but it just, these things just take some time to actually record. So uh, hopefully you guys have still enjoyed this. But with that being said, this is HQ out. Now you're gonna keep smiling, stay positive and stay a freaking hunter guys. Later, much love, peace. And uh, yeah, just don't do what I did. That was awful.